Hi everyone. Today I wanted to show you how to use Copilot in Edge to interact with a PDF document. So this is Copilot. You can go to copilot.microsoft.com and you can kind of interact with it in the in the full browser. But everyone who uses Edge at work and who's logged into their work um, email address has uh, Copilot enabled by default. So if you click on this icon here in the right, um, it opens the sidebar with Copilot integrated. It's the same as this Copilot, but it's a lot handier. What's also nice about it is that this Copilot in the sidebar is able to look at what's going on in this main window and uh, you can interact with, with what's going on in the browser in that way. Now, until quite recently, I thought that the only thing that you could upload to the browser was the uh, was an image. So if you click on this uh, icon at the bottom here, you can upload an image and then you can ask questions in the prompt here of the image. And um, I didn't realize that you could uh, open a PDF in, in the browser and that Copilot would be aware of the content of the PDF. So let's just have a look at, at what we could do with that. So here's an article. Um, now your, your computer is going to look a little bit different because you're going to be running Windows. Um, but on your Windows machine, if you right click on a PDF, you're going to have this open with option. So if you go to open with, and instead of choosing uh, Adobe Acrobat, which is going to be your default, you choose Microsoft Edge. So every browser is also a PDF viewer. So I've opened the PDF now in the browser, it's in Edge. And what I'm going to do, first of all, um, I'm going to make sure that this is on precise because I want it to be accurate rather than creative. So I'm going to choose precise. And I'm going to say, um, give me a, a 500 word summary of the article in this page. So something to be aware of, um, I've mentioned this before, but I'll, I'll say it again while uh, the language model is thinking. Uh, you want to see this protected icon um, at the top of the sidebar. Um, when it says protected, it means that all of your data, the, the PDF, the document uh, that's in the window, your prompt, which is what you write, and all of these outputs are not going to be sent to Microsoft. Um, it's going to stay on the university servers. Um, yeah, so you don't need to worry about data and uh, and privacy and all that sort of thing. So here you can see I've asked for a summary and um, the article, we can just read very quickly. It says the article provides 12 tips on how to create and use custom GPTs. And we can see that this is creating and using custom GPTs. So that is correct. It goes through all 12 tips. And again, we just want to do a quick check. Plan and create the GPT. Plan and create the GPT. Use carefully constructed documents. Tip two is use carefully constructed documents. So you can see that this is an accurate summary of the contents of this article. Now, it, it also gives you a few um, additional questions that you can ask as follow-ups. Now, if you choose any of these, it's going to go to the web. It's not going to pull that content from, um, uh, from this document. But I might wanna say, uh, how is, oh, how is this relevant to my work as a health professions educator? So now the language model is going to be a little bit more creative in its response because the authors may not have included the answer to that exact question in this article. Uh, they may have, but I like to ask that kind of question when I'm reading research papers to give me a little bit of context to think, should I be reading this paper in more detail? So yeah, it gives you, um, I'm just having a quick look at it, and this seems like uh, some, some reasonable guidance around how I might want to consider using this. So I'll stop that responding. Um, another way that you can use um, the PDF interaction as part of uh, Copilot in Edge is you can take a Word document that might be a 50 page report you can use Word to convert that Word document into a PDF. You can open the PDF in Copilot, and then you can start prompting the um, uh, the PDF uh, to say, give me a summary of, uh, of this document, or give me the top 10 takeaways that I need to be aware of in, in my context. So now that you can upload PDFs and uh, interact with those PDFs through Copilot, you can imagine that there's quite a wide range of 
documents that you might want to view in um, in Edge so that you can use the Copilot uh, extension to interact with that document. If you have any further questions about how this might be useful for your teaching and learning or your research or administration, uh, please feel free to get in touch and I'll see what I can do to help. I hope that's been useful and I'll try to follow this up with some more tips on using Copilot. Thanks. Bye.